Hey, Collider fans, John Roca here with the man, Mark Riley. Uh, you know, a big trailer dropped this morning, Avengers Infinity War. And guess what, Mark? What? There's no more Hawkeye. What? All right, so this trailer dropped, and yep. Hawkeye is not in this thing nope. once again. No Ant-Man, no Wasp, no Pepper Potts. No Valkyrie, mm. no Novacor. What is happening here? Let's start with uh, with Hawkeye. What's your thoughts on this? Him not being in any of the material. And if you look at the movie poster, yeah. he's not in the movie poster, nor is Jeremy Renner's name listed at the top as one of the 19 actors at the top of that movie poster. See, it's Hawkeye and the poster yeah. that really gets me thinking and wondering because, yeah, Jeremy Renner is not even listed on the poster yeah, and he's huge. nowhere to be found on the poster so mm -hmm. that does make me go what are they what are they hiding so what i had yeah. to do is go to to the big set visit that collider.com did right. and there's a, a one that was pieced out what hawkeye is doing and yeah. the russos did say that he's in a very similar place as cap and um in in that side and of falcon of this, yeah, and yeah, falcon yeah. on that After side the civil of the civil war, war right? and that he's on his own journey that's kind of where they leave it <laughs> So we have to now fill in some blanks. What does that mean? Own journey, meaning he's on a special mission from yep. S.H.I.E.L.D. that yeah. is so super secret and in terms of story that they don't even want to tease him on mm -hmm. a poster or in a trailer. But for that, I call bullshit because oh. why then have the set visit right. and tell us all about Hawkeye and that he's doing this special mission? We've always, Hawkeye is an Avenger. Yeah. He should be on the poster. So I don't know if this is because there's a story element that is so shockingly twisted and, and out of left field that they're trying to save it. But at the same point, we know he's in the movie. Yeah. Why not put him on the poster? I it's, don't know. I know. It's interesting. They gave the quote and they said that, he, yeah, he's on his own journey in this movie. But also, if you read the prelude comic, Hawkeye officially retires and goes and heads to his home, secret home with his family to be with his kids. There's yeah. actually panels of him with his kids saying how he this is how he wants to spend his time with his kids again. So we may see him again, but there have been reports that Jeremy Renner was on the set of Infinity War in a mohawk. So what does that mean? And they're shooting both one and two at the same time. Uh, um, Gamora said that, Zoe Zeldana said that, that they shot their Infinity Wars, both one and two, yeah. their scenes already. So we know they were shooting around the same time. So maybe there's more here with Hawkeye that we're not seeing. And he may be that out of the first movie and all this stuff happens on Earth, all, which drags him back into the fight in the second movie. And it's certainly possible because there will be less Avengers standing from what we're told, right? There'll be some deaths. So he may have to fill some of those slots, be part of the new Avengers yeah. or the West Coast Avengers like he did back in the comics leading them as well. So yeah. there's a lot of possibilities. There's possibilities there. I'm kind of using that same kind of description mm -hmm. for Ant-Man yes. and the Wasp because yeah. they're not on the posters either. So I'm wondering if they have a bigger role in Avengers 4 right. and that maybe Infinity War is going to set something up where they do show up, but then it sets the table for Ant-Man and the Wasp, which is gonna come out a couple months later. Yeah. So, but I don't know where the timeline is for Ant-Man and the Wasp, because does it take place after Infinity War? Is it set before? And, and like, yeah. where's Scott Lang after Civil War? Because we saw him, he was still on the, the, yeah. the raft and, and, and in prison and then yeah. got released by Cap and they yeah. became the secret Avengers almost. So it's gonna be interesting to see, but I mean, the, the fact that they don't put on two of the biggest Avengers, three, yeah. Ant-Man, Wasp, and, and Hawkeye. It, it, it doesn't make sense to me. Valkyrie, I'm not sure about. I think Valkyrie is, we're gonna get a little bit of info. I think, I'm wondering if they're really saving that for, we know that Tessa Thompson filmed. Yeah, yeah. But we haven't seen any of her mm -hmm. in the marketing materials and certainly yeah. not on the poster. I wonder if that is a big thing that's gonna happen because as we saw at the end of Thor Ragnarok, yeah. uh, should we put up a spoiler in case you haven't seen? Spoiler. Are you watching an Avengers Infinity I mean, War why news, are you? <laughs> Collider news piece <laughs> and not seeing Thor Ragnarok? Then I, I I don't know what to tell you, but spoiler you alert. Doing? Anyways, at the end, yeah. we see what we uh, what we assume is Thanos' ship yeah. finding last of Asgard so um, right and we see the shots in the trailer uh, that all these Asgardians look like they're dead all around Loki yeah. so how did what happened to Valkyrie did she escape there's no way they're killing Valkyrie off with all this talk about having a female Avengers movie Ooh, God, there's no way not. Tessa Thompson would let that happen first of all and yeah. there's no way gonna do that and talk about it as well but also we don't see a lot of Nebula in the in the uh, trailer right. Right? we saw in the first trailer uh, just a shot of Nebula like sure. this but the voiceover is all Gamora we don't right. have Nebula kind of sliding in to talk about Thanos as well who's also her uh, his other daughter 
water, so to speak. So what's going to happen? Do you think she'll pop up and have a part? Uh, yeah, I think she absolutely, because we saw her. She's she's yeah. in one of the trailers. I think the thing we really have to, to realize with this is that there are so many characters. Yeah, that's true. Some of them are going to get one line and out. I mean, mm -hmm. really, I don't know how they're going to, it's going to be an amazing feat mm -hmm. if the Russo brothers are able to pull off each character getting some kind of arc. But I think we're, we're really looking at the main Avengers yeah. here. Nebula might have to be reserved for a smaller part, um, a pivotal moment perhaps yeah. with the Guardians. But right now we know we're getting a lot of Star-Lore, we're getting a lot of Peter Parker, mm -hmm. we're getting a lot of Tony Stark, Cap, Doctor Strange. You know, the, yeah. some of these big uh, Avengers and, and, you know, Black Widow, Scarlet Witch, these kind of things. So yeah. it'll be interesting to see. But I do find the most interesting of all, even yeah. beyond Ant-Man and the Wasp, is Hawkeye. Yeah. I don't understand why he's not on any of the marketing materials. Well, the, I mean, the, the simplest answer sometimes is the best answer. Maybe, you know, people have been pushing back and said, like, what does Jeremy Renner do? Why is she, why is shooting arrows a big deal? Why is Hawkeye a big deal? That has been the, the knock against him since the first Avengers movie. And this may be the Russo brothers kind of like democratic way of sliding him out and kind of letting the story be about the, the Avengers that people want to see more and kind of maybe bringing him in in the second one just yeah. to see, just to get the chance for people to miss him. So there could be a number of reasons, but that's seems to be the smartest choice because people are commenting on it but no one's going i want more hawkeye you know that's that's the difference there and and i think if you took thor out there might be an issue the other, one last thing nakia we don't see nakia we see shuri we see okoye we see uh, t'challa obviously but we don't and the Dora Milaje, but we do not see uh nakia so we will see what her part will play as well that's so, true yeah. yeah and again could go down there's He's a lot of We're characters. In Wakanda. I mean, I think the last count they put out there was 197 characters. I'm kidding. I have no <laughs> idea. It was like in the 70s, though. So I, I, yeah. it, it's really going to be interesting to see what they do and how they pull this off. Yeah, and uh, you know, there was a time where we were like worried how could they fit 10 Avengers into one movie. Now yeah. we're like, why aren't you fitting all of them into one movie yeah. and expand? So we are definitely in great times right now being able to enjoy this, uh, the luxury of riches that we have from the Russo brothers and their abilities. Very what do you true. think? Who is missing? Who do you want to see? Or are you happy that they're not in the movie or not in the poster and not in the trailer? Uh, let us know in the comments section below. Remember to like and share this video on your social media and keep watching Collider videos for more coverage of Avengers Infinity War.